senses are the way humans experience the world. And while they are powerful, they are limited to what we can perceive in our immediate vicinity. But what if we gave our networks the ability to sense, to become aware of our environments, the people and objects within it, to be our digital sixth sense? With this capability, we can map digital versions of the physical world, allowing us to interact beyond our immediate vicinity, extending our senses to every point the network touches. 6G is the next iteration of the wireless communication standard. Nokia Bell Labs has identified six key aspects of the new standard, of which network as a sensor, one of the major ones. 6G sensing will be an additional service provided by the 6G network, in addition to communication, where the network by itself can detect people, objects, the physical environment itself, similar to a radar, but without dedicated radar signaling required. We are at the ARENA 2036 Industrial Research Facility, where we have deployed our prototype system for joint communication and sensing. The signal is being sent out and it's being reflected, at least in parts, by the environment, including the robot itself. The reflected signal is being processed in the sensing processing unit, where we can obtain the distance, range and reflective strength of the robot, which we then visualize in the radar view on the screen. From that reconstruction, we extract the objects of interest. So we can uh, then detect people, cars, static objects such as parked trucks. We detect their range, their velocity. That kind of list of objects can then be used in a multitude of ways depending on the scenario we are trying to solve. That information is available uh, in real time with a very short latency of about 20 milliseconds. Nokia Bell Labs is working with Bosch to explore real-world use cases in industrial environments and traffic scenarios. 6G sensing could be used in an industrial setting where it would track the location of every robot machine or human in the building. 6G sensing tracks the locations of objects, regardless of whether they have a direct connection to the network. By recognizing the presence of people, heavy machinery could stop operating temporarily when a human approaches, preventing potential collisions. Importantly, 6G sensing can't determine people's identities, maintaining privacy, but it can determine if they are sitting, standing, or walking. Our possible applications of this technology are for outdoor deployments and drone detection or weather sensing, for indoor or industrial deployments, worker safety improvement or intrusion detection, and finally, improvement of the communication performance of the network itself. 6G can give us the ability to fuse the human, physical, and digital world. And by expanding our awareness beyond our nearby surroundings, we are building a safer and more productive environment for all.